At this time, I'd like to invite any of our young people who are here today who'd like to come forward to join us. And anybody feeling young at heart, I kind of need a, a selection of ages from, from nine days old to 99 years old and beyond. I'd love a good selection up here. I have a, I have a couple of questions and I want to be able to poll the electorate here. Hey, oh, look at that. Now, how old is that little dog? Oh, two. Is that is that two in human years or dog years? Oh, dog years. Well, I can't do that math this early in the morning. Thank you for joining us. I mean, you could sit right there if you want. You just might get in the splash zone. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you, everybody, for coming. So, in the Bible, there's a story of Jesus where uh, there's some people came up to Jesus. He'd been teaching all these amazing things, but he'd been teaching so much that people were having trouble keeping it all straight in their heads. And they asked Jesus, if you could boil it all down, what's the most important thing that God needs to tell us? What's the most important thing that God wants us to do? And Jesus said, well, I can boil it down to two things. Love God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. Love God and love your neighbor. Love other people. But the Bible also says that just telling people you love them with words isn't always enough, right? Sometimes you need to show people that you love them through your actions, through the things that you do. So I want to ask you all here a couple of questions. So get your thinking caps on. Because I'm curious to know, if you can't, can't say that you love someone, um, we've, got, we've got Mother's Day coming up pretty soon, right? If you have a mother, what, uh, what is something that you might do with your, you know, something rather than saying it, but doing it? What's something you might do to show your mother that you love them? Yes? Make a card. That's awesome. Very good idea. Anybody else? Yeah? Give them flowers. Give them flowers. Absolutely. Yes? Give them chocolate. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> now, what about somebody else in your family? Think of somebody in your family that you want to show them that you love them. How would you do that? Somebody that's not your mother. Maybe it's a sibling. Maybe it's a father. Maybe it's grandparents. Well, I mean, you just showed that you loved somebody right there with a little arm around the shoulder. Yeah, as long as they're okay with it. She doesn't look too happy about it. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else? What's a, what's a way you could show someone in your family you love them? Yeah. Give them a ride someplace they need to go. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you can drive, then you can take, or, or if you ride a bike, you could put somebody on the back of your bike. But yeah, take someone somewhere that, you, that they need to go. Any other ideas? You do love people in your family, right? There's got to be at least some, at least one person in your family that you love. Yes. Make them jello. Make them jello. Cooking is absolutely a love language. You can make jello for some. I mean, uh, you know, if somebody loved me enough to make me jello, I'd be a happy man. Your mom never lets you eat jello. Well, I'm I'm stumped. I don't know how to work on that one. I can't I can't help you with that one. Um, all right, what about, what about your friends? What's a way to show your friends that you love them? Yeah, you've got friends, you've got family, you are just so blessed. I am very blessed, I yeah. have to say that. I would say for my friends, we might sit together and invite them to sit with us at lunch. Ooh, yeah, invite your friends to sit with you at lunch, or, or, or maybe share some of your lunch with your friend if you've got something that they like. <laughs> I heard Jim say, that's going too far. <laughs> My food is mine. <laughs> well, hey, you're loving yourself, and that, I can respect that. Uh, helping them finish a project. Helping them finish a project, absolutely. Or, or maybe your friend has a chore that their parent asked them to do, and you can help them do that, like, like rake the lawn or something like that, or clean up their room. Uh, you could... Um, uh, ask them to play a game with you if you've got a nice board game or a video game or something like that. Maybe they want somebody to play it with. Now this one's really tricky. How do you show people that you don't know that you love them? 
And you might be wondering, why would I love somebody that I don't know? Well, all the people in the world are children of God, right? Just like you. And so we're all kind of family with everybody in the world, even if we don't know them. So what's something that you might do to show somebody you don't know that you love them? Compliment them. Very good. Yes. In the grocery store, those of us who are not vertically challenged, we can help somebody get something off the top. Oh, yes. In the grocery store, help people get things off the shelves. One yeah. Once asked me, may I borrow your height? May I borrow your height? I love that line. Yes. Make them jello. Make them jello. <laughs> you know, to be honest, jellos are pretty, like, yeah, that's. It, it works, it works for all kinds. That's the thing. You can, you can share love to different people in the same ways. That's true. Another way to show love to somebody that you don't know is hold the door for them, especially if they're carrying a bunch of stuff. But just holding the door for someone who needs to get into a building, they, people notice that. People are like, oh my gosh, I feel so special because someone's holding the door for me. You don't even have to say a word. You just let them on in. And thank them when they help you, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, giving people a smile on the street or, or you know, any number of things like that. There's so many ways that we can show people that we love them without even telling them that we love them. Because sometimes telling them isn't enough. We gotta do it with our actions. And that's what Jesus wants us to do. So let's pray together. Loving God, thank you for filling this world with people, with your children. Thank you for filling this world with love. We ask that you inspire our hearts, fill us with the joy of your love so that we may share it with all people. Help us to think of ways that we can show the people we know, the people we see every day, and the people we haven't even met yet, how much we love them. Not just with words, but with actions. In Jesus' name. Thank you all so much for coming up and for your great ideas and for your hearts full of love. Now you can head off to Sunday school. Your teachers will be waiting for you in the narthex. Oh, look at this. Thank you very much. That, look at that. Showing love. Wonderful. You get a gold star. You can go home early. <laughs>